One of the reasons I love WordPress so much is it's so powerful and customizable. A great example of this is with custom post types. WordPress comes with five default post types. Post, page, attachment, revision, and menu. And the GeoDirectory plugin adds one more called places. And with the custom post types add-on, you can create as many additional custom post types as you need. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the custom post types add-on and show you some fun things you can do with it. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing we have to do is install the custom post types add-on. So make sure you are um, signed into WordPress and you already have um, GeoDirectory installed and your subscription set up. Then hover over GeoDirectory and choose Extensions. Scroll down to the custom post types and click Install. Then click Activate. So now that that's installed, let's go ahead and make a custom post type. So hover over GeoDirectory and then go to Settings and then click the Post Types tab. After you have the add-on um, installed, you should have the Add New button. So go ahead and click that. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do here is click the Show Advanced button so we can see all the available fields. So now let's go through everything. The first thing you want to do is um, name the post type. And if you hover over this little question mark here, um, this can only be um, uh, lowercase characters and underscores, and it's usually singular. So for this, I'm going to do our V parks, um, but since it's only lowercase and singular, I'm going to do um, RV park with an underscore. Next is the slug name. This is going to be for the URL. Um, this one is dashes, lowercase, just like the post name, except this one you can only do dashes instead of underscores. And this one's usually plural, so I'm going to do RV parks like that. Um, for order and post type list, I'm going to put number one here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any other post types, but this is probably going to be my main one for this website. Next, you have an option to add a default image. This is going to be used in some places if like the post doesn't have a default image and if the category has no default image. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload image and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, choose this image from my gallery that I use a lot and then click use image. Now you do have the option to add a menu icon um, that will be used for this post type. Um, I'm not going to put that here, but if you hover over the question mark, it says that it's used in the admin menu um, because this, after we're done with this, this will show up under a places here. It's going to show up RV parks. Um, if you want to put an icon there, you would put it right here. Now, here are some of the advanced options that came up when we clicked that show advanced button. Um, you have the ability to disable comments for all posts in this post type. You can disable ratings. Um, you can restrict users that they can't leave more than one review per post. Um, you can disable favorites for this post type. Um, and you can also disable allowing this post type to be added to the front from the front end. This last one is um, pretty important to talk about because you do have the option here to disable the physical location. And this might be something you might wanna do if you're gonna do a directory of like online services or websites or something that, um, that you don't need an address for. Um, just keep in mind that if you do this, it removes all the location data and it can't the location data can't be recovered. And it also can't be reversed. So if you wanna do this, really make sure that you wanna do this. Next, we have options for the um, author page URL, and you can choose if the author posts are gonna be public or private, if the author's favorites are gonna be public or private, or if you wanna limit use, uh, posts per user. Next, let's look at labels. Labels are gonna be used around WordPress to um, describe this post type. So uh, first, you're gonna to wanna to put a name, and um, this is gonna be plural, probably. Um, are, I'm putting RV parks here and then you're going to want a singular name. So I'm going to call that RV park. You can choose your own um, add new text. Um, if you leave this blank, it, the default is um, just add new. And that's the same with all of these um, add new item, edit un item, new item, view item, um, search items not found. All of these already have default text, so you don't have to fill this stuff in. So I'm going to leave all that blank and keep the default text. You have the option next under here to do a description of the post type if you so choose. And you can also do um, SEO overrides here, which are very useful 
where you can set your own title, meta title, and um, meta description right here. If we keep going down, we've got template page settings. And here you can leave these as default or you can um, pick your own template from um, the pages that are here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave those as they are. And now scroll down, classifieds, real estate, sold settings. Um, this is a sold functionality where it would include uh, statuses like sold, under offer, sale agreed. Um, if you want to enable um, the classified features, you can do that here. Note that warning that disabling any uh, status for this post type will move all the existing posts to drafts. Keep that in mind. Um, you would be able to choose those features right here. I'm not doing that, so I'm not gonna, going to select that. And the last one is here is, is link post settings where you can uh, set your fill data for field. Um, when you're done here, don't forget to click save changes as always. And then when you're done with that, you'll see there is now RV parks listed on your um, sidebar under places. From here, you can click RV parks. And now you have RV parks as an option under places on your navigation with all the same options. Um, to add new, to add the tags in the categories, just like for places. Okay, so there you go. Now we have um, a new custom post type, um, RV parks right under places, and you can um, do the same things that you can do with places. You can add new, um, you can edit tags, and you can edit categories. If I was helpful to, to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Um, if you're building your own website, I do have a free download in the description to help you out on 9-Step Website Roadmap. Thank you so much for watching.